Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to uh, make your paper clips a little extra. <laughs> so this one right here is a little tab. I'm using glitter cardstock, um, but 300 GSM. So this is super, super thick. Like, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not moving. It's, it's super thick. Um, so there's this one. So I was thinking you can do so many different things with it. So you can see on the screen, this is the flourish shape. And then you can see I'm using a square to cut out that little insert so that the paper clip goes through. And then um, just using regular font, um, a boring font. But it's because it's for my planner. I know I'm turning into a planner a little bit just because life is getting so crazy for me. Uh, it's all good, but it's getting crazy. So like these little tabs are different collaborations that I'm working on on an ongoing basis. So just things that I can find that's outside of the months. But I love fancy paper clips to begin with. This one is Mickey Mouse. And with this one, I did it on both sides because I felt like it wasn't as, um, like this one's a longer piece. And it, so it allows you to I feel like that there's strength because it's bigger and so it's not gonna bend. But with this one just being like floating on top with the Mickey Mouse, I did wanna do double-sided. But you can do hearts, you can do your monogram, and then I use HTV, so iron-on vinyl, to put, and you want, if you're gonna use iron-on vinyl on glitter, I highly recommend using glitter HTV as well because the glitter is gonna hide, this paper has bumps and grains, so, if you use regular HTV, you're gonna be able to see all the bumps. If you use glitter HTV, you won't even see anything. So it's perfect for it. All right, so we're gonna get started now that you can see that. And then I'm gonna show you one more time my planner. So you can kind of see it's easier to get to, to that particular page because it's not, like I said, it's not part of a month, um, a month or a monthly issue. It's more of like a place for me to collect my thoughts. But I feel like there's, there's uses for this uh, for you guys, for just reading a book even. So anyway, I love these. All right, let's get started. Let's go to customize. I'm gonna show you where everything is. So let's do this. <laughs> All right, so I used everything that was in design space. So hopefully you guys have access. If you don't, you can decide whether or not you like it. I definitely have it because, uh, oh no, what happened here? Sorry, this is another project that's coming up. Oh, there it is. I know, I'm working on Selena. So, all right, so here is the thing. Um, shoot, I took off my grid. Give me a second, let's go to settings. So if you ever find that your grid is missing, this is where it is. So you go into the three bars up here and you click on settings and then you get this. So here I'm going to want a full grid. I always use a full grid, it's just easier for me. That's up to you. All right, so here we go, done. So now my grid is back. Like I said, this little guy was from Flourish. So let's go into images and type Flourish. Originally, I found it by typing shapes because I was trying to find some cute, fun shapes. But let's see if it comes up over here. I never know if I can find things here. I might have to go and search for the... Um, oh, but this might be cute, like a little thing. <laughs> um, don't mess with me right now. Where are you? Like, these are cute. I mean, you could just, pretty much you can glue on anything onto the paper clip. But like I said, I love using that 300 GSM. It's from Ground Up Creations. I switched from Cricut because Cricut has been so unreliable. For a whole year, their glitter cardstock has been a hot mess. So I had to find someone new and their glitter paper is way shinier and thicker. So it's great for cake toppers, paper clips. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not finding it in here, but you can use, let's say, I'm gonna insert this shape as well. Um, oh, I kinda like this shape. And I'll just show you what I ended up doing with it. I feel as if my shape is gonna come up soon. This one's kind of cool. And this you can actually do another layer. So that would look really, really pretty. All right, I'm not seeing my piece. I wanted to give it a few more seconds. Okay, so we're gonna go on with that. You saw 
the image number and I can show you over here the image number. So you would click on here and then you right click on it and then you have your image info. So it's Flourish Shape, it's um, M46E84. It's ridiculous that I couldn't find it. Oh, my square, jeez, okay. Um, oh, but I didn't know you could do that. So right click image info and I can click on this. Ah, and it just drops in. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna insert it. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. Um, my measurement, let's look at what my original measurement is so that you can see exactly. So this is 1.231 across, just see 1.2, um, and 2.5 inches in height. I like that because I was specifically looking so that I could see it up here. You might not want that, you might not want it sticking up like this, but I wanted to, and like I said, can you feel that or hear that? If this is really good cardstock, so I think it's really good for that. If you don't have thick cardstock, what I would do is I would double up. So have a front side and a back side. Okay, so here it is. So what you want to do is let's look at the same one so that you can see that. So I'm going to put it side by side for a second. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so this one, first off, I got rid of the brackets. So you just go over to the right hand side and delete. And then here, I'm going to type in the height 2.5. Okay, so I didn't change the the dimensions at all. All right, so it's 2.5 and that gives you the 1.231 across. Okay, next thing is I needed to make a slit so that my paper clip can go through. And then the paper, whatever you put in your paper clip, the paper clip still works exactly the same. It just has a backing now. All right, so the way to get this slit is you wanna go into shapes and get your square. And this I didn't really measure, to be honest with you. I kind of just looked at this. It, the paper clip is really thin, so this little slit right here is actually bigger than it needed to be. But anyway, you want to unlock it because you want to make it into a rectangle and kind of thin. So going back, I would probably make it thinner than what I had. So let's see how much. Yeah, this is thinner than, than the one I have there. So this is... 0 0.097 so you know what I'm gonna do 0 0.09 I I don't remember what I did originally um now this is up to you where you want where you want this little slit I put it right here because I wanted about um almost a full inch so that I can read my letters without without issue so you can actually see it on camera yeah so it's pretty clear um you can make it way smaller. It's This is totally up to you. And look, it, you can make it way thinner too because look at where my paper clip is. It's right in the middle and I'll show you the back. It might be easier to see the back. So you see where that is. So this is up to you. This is my size. But what you want to do is once you figure out how much space you want for your monogram, for whatever that you're going to put down here, um, then let's say you want it right around here. The next thing you want to do is you want to grab both items because you want to center that slit, right? So you want to go to a, um, sorry, a line and you want to center it horizontally so it gets it right in the middle. And that's also a great measurement for you when you're putting down your letters or whatever it is that you're putting, you know that this is in the middle. So then you have another measurement. All right, so now that you have these two selected and you know these two are selected because when you look on the right-hand side panel, the square and the florist shape are both grayed or grayed out, selected, whatever you want to call it. Um, now we're going to slice. That will give us, so that will have your Cricut cut out that little slice, and then you can get rid of these two things. You don't need that. So here's your shape. That's all that there is to it. If you like this one, for instance, and you want this little, um, I forget what this is called, like a Florida de lis So we want to get rid of the holes, right? So you want to go to contour. Let's duplicate this for a second. Let's click on this one and go to contour. Contouring is a great feature. So it easily hides things that we don't want. So let's say we want to hide all. You want just a solid background, okay? On this one though, you want this little symbol. So on this one, we're gonna click on contour. 
click hide all, but you want this, but you don't want this. So now this can be HTV or it could be just another layer to make it really cute. Um, this would not, I mean, you could put the paper clip here. So the little slit down here, this would pop out on, you know, in the front, just like my Mickey Mouse outline. So this is a Mickey Mouse with a silver outline with a blue middle twice. Okay. All right. So you could do that with this, you know, make this um, maybe a gold. It would look really pretty. And then what I would do is I would put the slit down here. I should have kept that rectangle huh so bring in another square we're gonna create it this time I'm gonna save it okay unlock it now right now we haven't sized this little piece I haven't even looked to see how big it is but it doesn't really matter because when you put your slit in um, it's going to be proportionate to what you have so when you resize it it should still be really good okay so we're gonna do this remember grab these two items and go to align and center horizontally. Now you don't want the slit too close to the bottom because you don't want things to rip off, or, you know, to tear easily with your paper clip. So you wanna give it enough space down here. So maybe even, maybe even move this up a little bit now that I think about it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two, make sure that it's still aligned center horizontally and then slice. Now, if you notice how I picked up my cursor on that, I only picked up the blue image and the little square. I did not go and touch that yellow sign. So that's why I was able to still slice because I did not grab a third item. Because remember, if, when you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So here's this one. Let's see how big this is. So this is a little bit big at three inches. <laughs> so let's make this a little bit smaller. So this is about one and a half inches wide and two inches down. So to give you perspective, this is one and, one and a quarter across and two and a half down. So this will be more in line with what we're doing. So this, this would look really, really cute. All right, let's look at this one. This one has multiple layers. So I like that because if you wanted to do, let's ungroup it for a second. If you really want, your um, paper clip to pop. This would look beautiful in a gray metallic HTV. And then if you had this one in, what would look good against gray? Like a dark blue. I know it's not popping right now, but let's make it a dark blue. And then if you had this little gray on top, it would look really, really nice. And then here you can put a slit right in the middle if you wanted to, or right here and then you can do your initials or something like that so you can see this is just regular a regular font it's the Cricut font type in whatever you want the way I did it or the way I sized it is let me arrange and send to the front I wanted to make sure it fit so CF was one of mine for Creative Fabrica because I love that company that I work for so CF so you see how it looks um, so that's how I measured this. And then I figured if one works, then they all work. Um, so you can, you know, you can pick another, or you can just even pick an image. It doesn't matter. You can personalize this however you want to. Now let's look at this pretty little thing. Um, so this one, what I would do is I would duplicate it so that you have your options of editing afterwards, but let's on this one, let's go to contour and hide everything. I just want the shape. So hide all. Oops. I think this shape is really, really pretty for a paper clip. I like it a lot. So here it is at two and a half inches. It's going to be very similar to this first one in size. Okay. So here's that one. Um, I wonder if this will go in perfectly. Oh, it does. So you could, you know, like layer it or you could do this in HTV and that's the only thing that you have and it would just be a beautiful paper clip. And then what I would do is let's zoom in a little bit to see how we would put our little slit for the paper clip in that one. Okay, so let's bring over our little slit. 
So this, what I would probably do is get rid of this line. So let's go to contour. I would get rid of this line, this one, and this one. Let's see what that looks like. I did not get rid of the one I wanted, so let's go back to contour. There's one more outline that I missed, and sometimes it's hard to get it on here. I might have to look on it over here. It's so hard to tell which one is which. Is that the line I want? Ah, oh, all right, I'm struggling right now. So, but you can see with contouring that you can select what to get rid of and what not to get rid of and not do it the way I'm doing it. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Okay, let's see, maybe this is it. No, I just got us back to what it was. But I would get rid of this line right here and then I would put my slit across here. That would give you more space or get rid of, you know, a couple of these flowers. Um, but there's so many options that would, this would be so, so pretty. So once you get rid of that, and if you really, really can't, I'm sorry, I'm going to give it one more try because this is driving me insane. Let's look to see what my options are. Okay. It shouldn't be that hard. There. Yes. All right, and I even, like I said, I think I wanna get rid of these little flowers just so that I have an area that's very, very stable. Um, so let's do that. And so I'm just gonna click on the pieces I don't want here. I think I'm gonna go even up this high. All right, so now that I have it, I'm going to line everything up. Oh, you know what? Let me put my little piece in. Let's bring that to the front, arrange them to the front. Okay. I'm going to unlock it and make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to grab all three items because you're going to want the hole or the slit on both layers, right? So let's go to align and let's center horizontally okay that looks really good to me so this is we're gonna have to slice twice because you can only slice two things at one time so it's gonna be the slit and the outer yellow la layer and then the slit and the middle yellow layer okay so uh, all right grab this uh, this rectangle and then grab this Oh, it's grouped. Hold on. Let's ungroup this. Get rid of the black. Okay. So this one and this one we're going to slice. Okay. And then this one and where is, oh, here. Okay. So here, this one is grouped again with another layer that we can't see. Just delete the layer you can't see. All right. So let's go back and grab this and this and slice and so now you're going to have this slit on both items and it's going to line up so let me move that to the front arrange them to the front and then so when you're piecing this together you know what um, how it aligns perfectly and then you put your paper clip through It'll be really really pretty so this you can either cut in cardstock or you can cut in HTV or something and place it down. Depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you want a flat look, it would be the HTV because you would just iron it on. If you want a little bit of a layered look and actually even put like a foam um, tape in between to give you that little you know, depth, you could do that too. And I would do that with paper. Alrighty, that's it. So let me know what you think. If you want to see other shapes, I really like this bookmark. Um, or a paper clip. You can use it as both, but it's falling under my bookmark series. Um, I'm going to do a few more that I think are super cute. All right, let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't get over there. Bye.